Today we have news on the missing stat checks, Smolder, ARAM drama, skin cell leak and more. There's been a lot of posts about the removal of stat tracking on items, and I'm still finding myself shift checking them out of habit, only to have the stats still missing. In the patch 14.2 notes they mentioned that they're going to start adding them back in the current patch, but a lot of them are still missing, so it could end up taking them a few patches to fully fix this. Next up, Riot Froxon said Smolder has a massive 28% pick rate, and that they're looking at some follow up changes which could include partial resets on spells, R heal ratio, smoother auto weaving, mid verse bot balance and minor changes to his E and Q. A lot of people think he's balanced, I tried him out and is one of the most fun newer champs in my opinion. What do you think of him, have you had a chance to play him yet? Let me know below. And speaking of fun, there's been quite a number of posts complaining about ARAM this season, saying that the meta shift makes the game too bursty, snowbally and tank favoured. It's a lot harder to come back and to make things worse they still haven't explained why the 8 minute FF option was removed. On the topic of ARAM, apparently pre-maids are tanking their MMR on purpose so they can farm S grades on different champions for a challenge, which is funny but very sad at the same time. Moving on, for those wondering about drops, there haven't been too many so far. There was at least one for the LCS earlier today and some for the LEC. There haven't been any for the minor league so I would just focus on the major regions at this stage. Next up, Skins of League has leaked this week's skin sale, with La Illusion Kiana, Cosmic Matriarch Balveth, Imperian Zach, Imperian Vex, Star Nemesis Morgana, Ocean Song Yone, Cosmic Destiny Nami, Infernal Amumu, Dark Waters Diana, Dark Star Varus, Officer Vi, Arctic Ops Kennen, Pickpocket Twitch, Midnight Ari, and Tango Evelyn. And lastly, there's a well-made website where you can check your year in review, which I'll link below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.